Right, well, please welcome back to another vlog. Um, my makeup and my hair is, well, my hair is slightly done. We went for a Sophia Ritchie wedding inspired hair, but I'm no Sophia Ritchie hairstylist. Like, it, 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 it came out okay. It's only because I'm going on a date night tonight with James and I had greasy hair and hair wash day is until tomorrow. So I was like, oh, I'm not washing it. So I just did a little slick bun and then makeup's done. And we have a few little new pieces from ASOS, which I thought I'll quickly show you. And then I bought some new pieces from Tesco today just for the house. So I thought I might as well showcase them as well because, you know, like everything that I do in my life and buy for my house and myself, I share with you guys. So like whatever's new with me, I tell you so let's get into it so i do love this outfit i think together as well i definitely need some sort of like nice pearl and gold chain going on here which i need to buy off asos and then some gold and pearl earrings now it's my mum's 50th birthday party next week and we're having just like a garden party marquee get together type thing let me move you pajamas and <laughs> like the whole thing is very like summer-esque garden party like very yeah summery vibes so i was i saw this like pale pink satin skirt on asos and it literally goes down to my ankles and i thought that's really cute because i wanted a satin skirt for a long time anyway because like how they look with the gold jewelry and then i thought i don't really know what to wear with a satin skirt so i just bought this white bandeau rib top now, I don't know if this is exactly the outfit that I'm going to wear, only because I don't want to judge it up a bit. I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking definitely gold jewellery with this skirt, gold earrings, all this top, nice statement necklace. But yeah, I don't know if it's just making me look a bit... <laughs> so we'll see. Obviously, I'd put a strapless bra on with it, but I do enjoy it. And it is 25 past 5, we're leaving at 6, and I don't know what I'm wearing for date night, so it's great. Anyway, the other things that I bought off ASOS was this really, really cute circle, like, woven bag with the brown strap. Now, I thought this, because girls' holidays coming up to Greece. If I've not mentioned it, I'm going to Greece with the girls. Um, look how cute this is for the Greek holiday. I mean, I feel bougie, cute, all the rest of it. It's really, it's just, it's just giving me Greek summer. It's so cute. And then I've got another belly chain to go with. What did, what did it go with? All the bikinis. So this one, I don't have one of these ones. It's the pink beads with the purple flowers a little white in the middle now i don't i've seen a load of them on asos and i didn't want the ones that are just like metal like gold metal like they look nice but you've got to think practicality that gold metal is going to get extremely hot in the direct sun and the last thing i want is third degree belly chain burns because i want it to look cute you know so i've gone with the beads and i know they've got a bit of metal in the back but I feel like I can hide that with my bikini. So the beads should keep me safe from the third degree burns. We hope. But yeah, that's all I got from ASOS. Um, I like doing these videos because I feel like I can get my true proper opinion about the outfits because I look back at the videos as I make them. It looks like I've gone off and on now, but I do. Um, I look back at the videos and I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, that does look nice. Or I look back at the videos and go, no, that doesn't look nice. So we'll see. Um, for the house, I've actually set some things up. So we've got two of these black candlesticks, uh, both the same size. Next time I want a smaller one, just to go on the mantelpiece on the fireplace in the house. And then I've got these really cute, like, tapered wax candles. They're really, really nice. I've got them in t um, a whole pack, pack of four. And they come with two white and two pink. And I've got one white one here and then one white one on the bedside. And then I also got this little brass and clear for the my plants because I'm, I'm a plant mum now. And this actual thing doesn't work. Like I filled it to the brim and no water came out of it. And I was like, is that just for show? I was like, that for the. 
Have you seen that clip where Kylie Jenner does Kim Kardashian's makeup and she's like that with a set and spray? Because it won't come on. And Kim's giving it cheap shit. <laughs> it just wouldn't come out. So eventually I was just like, oh, fuck it. Like, I'll just pour it into the plant. It's fine. Um, it can just be a nice feature that I pour water out of. And then I've got a bedding set. I think it's like little tufty bits at the top. And then I actually got two new pillows. Little pillows. Because I like to karate chop them. They're now karate chopped. Oh, you can see the white candle there. And then for the table, because these were reduced from £26 to £13, and I thought, well, we've not got any of these. And then I was also going to buy myself some plates, but then the plates that I want are always out of stock. I'm just doing my head in. But it was the gold tops that sold it for me on the salt and pepper shakers. So it's a nice beigey colour, because it's going to go with... I can't say what it's going to go with, because that's a surprise. But... Look at the gold top. So I thought that was really cute little. Can you picture it? Me in the house. This is so nice. But yeah, this is my life now. I get excited about adult crap that I used to find really boring, like salt and pepper shakers. Like, who gets excited about buying them? I do. Oh, we've got to find an outfit now for date night, and it's. I just want it to look nice and I know it's not and I'm just, oh. Ah! Let's find an outfit. Okay, so I think we're going to go with this Zara two piece. So we've got the nice brown um, and white striped little corset and then the matching skirt to go with. And then I think I've just gone with Converse because I was going to go with boots, but it just looked a bit... I think it just looks a bit weird with boots. And then I FaceTime my friend Jess and she said, Oh, you look like a cute little punk rocker. I was like, ah. No, no. Um, so we're just going to pair it with a similar, like, lighter beige blazer. My brain's not working today. And then we're going to go with the coach bag with the Burberry scarf. And then trench coat because it's raining. So that's the fit for today. Uh, I think I'll take you with me because I don't know where we're going actually. James said it's a surprise. He said it's not in our town where we live, it's out of our town. So I was like, right, okay. Um, he said, do I need to get dressed up or do I just anyway? No, no, just jeans is fine. But I don't like to eat in jeans. I do occasionally, but it's not my favourite thing to do because if I eat, I eat. And the last thing that I need is the jeans tell me that I've ate too much because I bloated. We don't need that negativity when we're going to eat out. Thank you. So I'm going to pack some lippy balm and then I'm going to take you guys. And then I'm trying not to have a meltdown because I've just come off night. I finished my night shift yesterday morning. I didn't sleep yesterday day. Um, I've had on and off sleep all night last night. And then I've had to wake up early this morning because I was going to get my nails done. And then... I had the, yeah, I went to the gym and then I've been on the phone to the doctors all afternoon and then we went to the shops because I was supposed to buy food because we're going on the barge boat this weekend, but instead I bought far too much for the house and it came to like £92 and I had nothing to show for it and I thought, right, you've indulged too much, you're going to have to get yourself out of the shop because my brain was going, you've had a rough time this week, it's been a long week, treat yourself. Huh. And now I'm just... And I'm so, I feel so bratty because I'm supposed to feel geared up. It's date night. James taking me on a surprise date. It's dead cute. But I'm trying to feel my feelings. And it's really, I'm exhausted. I'm happy one minute. I'm crying the next. And my hormones are all out of whack because my body's going, is it day? Is it night? Is it sleep time? We're tired. You're up all night for the past four nights. Why are you not sleeping now? Like, you've slept for the past four days. So, like... This is sleep time, and it's like, no, it's not sleep time, this is daytime. So it's trying to get back into that 
alternative routine after you've just tried your hardest to get back in sleeping all day and awake all night routine now you're trying to get yourself back into sleep all night and wake all day routine it's just it takes a toll on your body and your mental health and your emotions and i feel like unless you work nights and then revert back to days in quite a short period you wouldn't understand like the the effect it has on your body is huge and i'm trying to be this positive person today but I'm so exhausted and my body's just like, yeah, you know, like, you've just finished nights, what did you expect? And I was like, I don't know. And I'm trying to function like a normal human being and I'm like, well, I'm not a normal human being because right now I'm a nocturnal animal. <gasps> oh, I think James won't be here because the dog's just shit me up with the door going. And the is here. And I've got an American boy stuck on my head. And you thought he was cute before. Look at this rap game saying this, he's broke. Do, 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 do. But I don't know where we're going. So let's go say hi to James and then we're gonna go get food.